Hey guys, I decided to post a video on my 4Runner 2007, it's a V6, um, I'm going to be building a bed for camping in the back of it, it's not going to be nothing crazy, it's going to be a simple type of bed so I can sleep inside my truck when I go fishing or I go hunting, um, camping, so just going to follow step by step. The, the way I'm gonna do it, I did some uh, research. A lot of guys do it differently. I've seen guys that put in a lot of work and they do a really nice finished work. This can be more of a simple method. So uh, stay tuned. This is my beast, 2007 Forerunner. I'm be converting this space into a bed. So my plan today is to use a two by eight. You're gonna cut into a couple, uh, couple pieces and we're gonna set up in three rows right here. We're gonna do one right here on the left side, one in the middle and one on the right side. And we're not going all the way out because I do want to have my seats fold up whenever we're driving to the camping site or whatever we're going. And uh, I'm going to build out of the 2x4 supports in the back for in the middle for the second part that's going to slide out. So I got a three and a quarter inch thick nice piece of plywood. That way it's a lot more sturdy even though I know with three supports it should be pretty sturdy. But um, I'm planning to sleep there with my wife so it's going to be two people. Uh, and I think it's just good. So we're going to cover that with carpet too. Okay so... This is a fourth um, generation Forerunner. So uh, I think, <clears throat> I don't know if they're the same with the third or pretty sure not with the fifth, but this one we got um, 32 and a half, two pieces like that by, by 41. So 41 is perfect to fit in between, in between these two, uh, back councils so that way <clears throat> once we lift them up we're gonna be able to just to slide this over and that's gonna go over there okay guys so what I did here now like I was saying I was gonna make two uh, three two by eights one here one in the middle and one on the left side so there it is so there's one left middle and right or whatever um, so another thing what I did is for the support of the backboard that will be towards the back um, I left the gap this is about two inch gap and I left about an inch out right here so this is where this is gonna lay down like this so that's gonna be the back of the forerunner and this will be the middle and this will be the front so that way when we slide the second piece over is gonna have something to rest upon and um, another thing is what I did is I got this 2 by 4 which I'm going to put something like this got to get it in there so it's gonna be like this that way we have a nice support once we lay our other piece down, um, just like that. Another thing I want to mention is I use these brackets from Home Depot. They're not bad. I use two on each side, two on this in the middle one, one on that side, and two right here. And I used um, three quarter screws because that's a three quarter plywood plus the piece of metal which takes away like 1 16th or 1 8th or whatever that way they don't actually stick out if you can see it's nice and flat right here and then on top of that I use some 2 inches um, wood screws 3 3 and 3 that way it gives a nice sturdy sturdy uh, construction um, yeah so once we get this done I'm gonna get it in just to show you guys how it looks and then we'll start doing the second part so here we are guys it is in so 41 inches is pretty good you have a little bit of gap which is okay 
Um, we're gonna be putting carpet on this to make it softer. So we're gonna go all the way down. So that will be nice and sturdy. But here's the underneath. You have a nice storage compartment. There we go. You can also, I was thinking to put a piece of um, carpet on the bottom of this just so wood doesn't rub on your carpet in the car does ruin it over time which it shouldn't but if you want to preserve it more i believe that will help um so these are about 18 inches apart so you have 18 inches by um 32 and a half and once these seats actually do come down as you can see the seat goes back pretty good so right there so once you have this down you can even store even more stuff depending on how many people you're going camping with um, and there's the back support for the second part that we're gonna put right here so you go about to the middle line right there it's overlapping just a little bit but it's perfect because once you close this there is no rub right there behind it whatsoever it's perfect so here's part two guys, we got her all nice and leveled. So what I used for support was a nice long middle piece out of two by fours. So I did the same length, it was 41 inches. So it's 41, 41 and my height to be <clears throat> leveled because I don't want to sleep a little high or a little low I uh, saw so I got a level and that was six and a half inches right here so this is a three and a half because these are one and a half so that's three inches plus three and a half so that's six and a half um, and I kind of put it not really in the center of this board but towards the front because that's where most of the weight will be um, I don't think there's no need for any support right here because that's where your head will be and in the back we have the support of the main 2x8s, the 2x4, and that 2x8. So that's where most of our weight from our butt or whatever will be at. Um, and I think that's that's good enough support. Um, in the future, if I have any problems, I think I might do like a little center, center piece right here just to hold it up. But I got on purpose three and a quarter, so it's not a flimsy board. Um, plywood, this is a lot more sturdy. So now I'm thinking, just so I can actually secure these so once I lay down and I'll be moving around so this is not gonna go anywhere I'm gonna probably go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy clips so I'm gonna have a little clip either from the side or on top where I can actually hook it up like I'm thinking either something like this or some some type of that kind of stuff I'm gonna put right here and uh, maybe right here or on these sides so that way we can actually connect it to the main board right here most likely um, I'm gonna have to figure that out but for the most part this is it um, just gonna have to wrap it now in carpet we're doing two separate sections another thing is I'm thinking that when you have to fold it back You'll just be able to slide this backwards. So you'll be able to slide that up. We're gonna go grab our piece. This is our center console. Put in that right in there. And we're good to drive. There you go. So that's kinda how it's gonna be like we're gonna have to put this on the side so another thing is I'm not really doing nothing with these for now I've seen a lot of guys they do these um, kind of door on the hinges right here just to cover it nice and flush with this personally I don't see a problem I'm a pretty skinny guy I got a skinny wife too we, we're gonna both fit right here we should be fine um, I believe you, you can still put stuff on the side. I mean, for me, it's not really big of a deal. Like I said, this is more of a basic setup. If you want to go deeper and cooler, you can do the, you know, the little hinges 
or you can even do their drawers like a lot of guys do which is pretty cool too for me this is kind of a basic setup when i go hunting or fishing and i don't want to be in a tent um that's what i'm gonna use so once i'm gonna cover it all with carpet uh i'll keep you guys posted well here we are all done so i'm laying right here and there's easy easy another spot watch this i go on this side boom easy another person nice carpet that we had left over from this house get out and show you guys a better view Boom, there you go you can see that crease a little bit but that's okay and this took me a couple hours a little longer because I was filming it but there's that extra space inside there's our support nice and clean So I'm 6'2". My feet are about right at the end and my head is right on that. Well, I'm gonna have a pillow right there, so it doesn't matter. This is perfect for a 6'2 person. 6'3 <clears throat> might be a little tight, but you can make it. Anything above that, you guys can always open your back window, stick your feet out there. But overall, this is a good little project for now. Yep. Hope you guys have Good luck on your guys' four runners that you guys will do. Enjoy.